Hey guys, I got a little change of pace for you. Um, I got a new project car. It's not mine, it's a client's. So they got a hold of me and we're gonna do a little build process on it over the next probably a couple months. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned and I'll show you what I've got here, it's pretty cool. All right, here it is. It's a 67 Mustang Coupe. It is just a inline six with a three on the floor. It was previously restored, but it's pretty rough. Um, but overall, the actual body, from what I can tell, the notorious rust spots. You know, it's there's a couple little spots down here, but overall, it was actually pretty solid of a car, especially for being from the Midwest. So the uh, plan is to just all stock the plan is to yank this motor out we're gonna put a roller 302 in here with a t5 just carbureted should, uh, no nitrous no power out or nothing like that but just a cool little street cruiser uh, I gotta fix a lot of stuff on the body a lot of the panels are misaligned probably do a five lug brake swap up front disc brakes put an 88 in the back I'm a lot more modern wheels um, the interior had been redone at one time. It's it's kind of nasty in here. It has that old car smell. You can tell just everything is is just kind of just needs cleaned up. Everything is back here is just kind of whole car just needs cleaned. Um, I just got done washing it. it. Had about an inch of dirt on it. So yeah, guys. Uh, she looks like we're gonna make it pretty cool right now it's even though it's a mustang it's pretty lame and the idea is to make it at least a pretty cool little street car so i guess i'll just get started on doing a little little stuff i'm gonna be pretty quick to yank the motor out and trans and get the engine bay all power washed and repainted and all that and get ready for uh the 302 okay about an hour or two and the car is already looking 10 times better than when I rolled up just a good wash probably the first wash it's had in forever uh, I took this stupid little chrome trim off right here we're gonna shave that we might end up shaving the drip rails um, we'll see what he wants to do the interior I just gave a good scrub down and vacuum of all the mouse turds out of it already smells a million times better kind of wipe the gauges down and stuff still could be detailed a lot nicer but it's way better than it was um, let's see what else I do I polished the front and rear bumper they were all rusted out a little scotch right pad and some brass old metal polish pulls those right out I took the uh, the little wing flying V thing, pony emblem out of the grill, so it's got that more aggressive looking kind of bullet look. Looks way better without that in there. Yeah, she's looking a lot better already. Polish the back bumper, no more, no more rust. I, these are just little things that I, I just OCD had to do to it before I even pull the motor out, so. Yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the 67 Mustang Resto Mod build, and uh, I'll see you later. Peace. All right, guys, some cool stuff's happened on the 67 build. Um, I wasn't going to put this in this video. I was going to make it two videos, but what the heck. I'll show you guys some cool stuff that's going on here. Uh, here we go. All right, the uh, I got the old inline six yanked out of here with the top loader three speed. It's gone. I got the uh, engine bay all power washed out and a uh, nice new coat of paint in here. Just satin black. Make it look pretty decent yet. Still got some wires and stuff to kind of these hoses and stuff, but just want to get the majority of everything out of here. And so, yeah, she's all ready for the new motor. Um, initially, initially, the plan was to um, for have 
for me just to build a little junkyard more or less 302 289 something that I could uh, just put a set of a cam in refresh maybe hone it whatever which I had no problem doing but then uh, the customer he's really wanting to get something you know quality that's gonna be in here for a long time and uh, no problems or anything not that anything I would build would have issues but uh, he just had the budget to just go ahead and buy a brand new motor, so that's what we ended up doing. He got a brand new uh, blueprint, blueprint crate motor, so here she is. And here's a little blueprint, small block, 8-2 deck. Um, I've never, I, I picked this motor out for him. I had I went through there what their options were. This is a, just a long block here. Um, this one, I have no experience with blueprint. I don't have any endorsement to give or anything but I mean overall I think that they're pretty good blueprints got a pretty decent name behind them um, just from looking at this it looks pretty nice um, this is a 306 I believe it's 30 over 40 over 306 308 something like that just factory heads and all that this what I like about this is it is a uh, roller block so it's like a late model block roller camshaft. I don't got to worry about breaking in a cam or anything like that. Not to mention these are just so much nicer for if you want to do a cam swap. This has a little cam in it. Um, and I'm interested to see what it sounds like. I think it's around 540, 550 lift or so. Um, this is a, being that this is a later model block, it uh, has a one piece rear main seal. It has a front sump oil pan already on it for a Mustang like this application. I still gotta get like a balancer and a, uh, a flywheel intake. And he's talking about going, uh, possibly doing the throttle body EFI, the new stuff like the Holly stuff or fast or whatever. And then we're gonna mate it to a, a T5 five speed. So yeah, it'd be real cool on this. It'll be a real cool cruiser with some pretty good pep behind it you know I think that motor there was rated at they rate that engine at 300 horsepower so that's way more than that inline six ever made so yeah pretty, it'll be a pretty sweet project guys so just uh stick around and I'll update you as I go the I we're gonna get moving on this pretty good uh the idea is to get this done in, in if you know a short amount of time so uh thanks for watching and uh subscribe see ya